So, so you and I have been together for, for a couple months now and I figured, figured it was time to, to address something that's been really weighing heavily on me, just, just eating away at me. They say one of the most important pillars of a relationship is, is trust and honesty. I haven't been completely honest with you. I've been hiding a terrible secret. <laughs> I'm basically a fraud. Tiki Drinks at Home is all about having fun and learning how to make popular tiki recipes, but how can you trust me if, if I've never even had a fog cutter cocktail before? <laughs> And scene. Jeff from Tiki Drinks at Home coming to you with one of the most iconic tiki drinks of all time today, the Fog Cutter. And I wasn't kidding when I said I've never had one of these before. Because of that, I thought it'd be fun to, you know, maybe do it along with you, have my first tasting here right on the show. Now, for those of you that don't know what a Fog Cutter is, it is historically considered the second most popular tiki drink of all time, right behind the Mai Tai. And quite possibly the first tiki drink that came in its own ceramic mug. More on that later. Like many tiki drinks, there's not wide acceptance on who actually created the original, although Trader Vic is most often tied to it. Other variations, such as the Samoan Fog Cutter, the Viking Fog Cutter, and the Fog Cutter, with the extra G, followed in future years. The original Fog Cutter uses three main ingredients. Light rum, brandy, and gin. And it's often known as the Long Island Iced Tea of the tiki world. Now, I've heard a lot of people don't care for the original, but I figured, hey, I haven't had one of these before. I got to go back to the beginning. So we're going to be using the original recipe, or at least what I assume is the original recipe. All right, so let's get into the fog cutter. So just a reminder, I have not made this before, so hopefully I do not butcher this too badly. So first of all, we're going to start off with two ounces of, of light rum. I believe the actual recipe calls for Puerto Rican rum, but all I've really got is the good old Bacardi light uh, that I use in a lot of my recipes. So two ounces of light rum. And now we're looking at brandy. One ounce of your favorite brandy. I, I'm actually not a big brandy lover. My parents love E&J, so we always have some of that in stock. So we're gonna do one ounce of E&J brandy. All right, next up, half an ounce of gin. This is the part that, that scares me a little bit. Um, the recipe, well, at least the what I believe is the original recipe, calls for two ounces of lemon juice. So we're gonna freshly squeeze this. All right, so we got one ounce. two ounces of lemon juice. Next up, one ounce of orange juice. And then, like any great tiki drink, orja, half an ounce of orja. All right, now you're gonna grab your shaker. And I've already pre-filled this with about um, a cup of crushed ice, and actually it's, it's already melting a little bit. All right, we're gonna pour this in there. And like any great tiki drink, gotta shake it good. All right, that's nice and cold. All right, so I mentioned before something about a ceramic mug. So at least in my research, the Fog Cutter is one of the first drinks that actually mentions a ceramic mug. It's actually called out in Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide. And traditionally, it's got a nice little hula girl on the front. And in fact, I believe the original ones 
might have been a little bit more scantily clad than this one, but I've got kids. I don't, I don't think I can really walk around the house with a, a truly official fog cutter mug. Um, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it directly in there, ice and all. And then what I hope is going to balance out the amount of lemon in this thing, we've got some cream sherry here. So we're gonna do about, uh, about a half an ounce I think the recipe calls for maybe about a quarter, but I'm gonna add just a little bit extra. So this is just a little over a quarter. All right, and then let's see if we can kind of float that on top here just a little bit. All right, and finally, can't forget a little bit of mint and your obligatory straw. So there we got what I believe is close to the original fog cutter. All right, here we go, moment of truth, the fog cutter. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous because I'm, I'm hoping I love this drink because I mean, it, it's so iconic. It, it's just one of those, those top three tiki drinks of all time. I'm almost nervous to take a sip right now, but let's do this. Oh, wow. That is a lot of lemon. Like, it, 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 I, for lack of better words, it, it tastes like I just sucked on a lemon. I cannot taste the brandy, the gin, the, the rum. I mean, it is all just buried completely underneath that lemon taste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix the float up a little bit just to see if that helps. I mean, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's basically killed my mint. <laughs> the mint doesn't even like it. All right, so let's mix this up a little bit. All right, let's see. If, let's see if the float kind of balances things out a little bit. No, I, I can't even taste. I can't even taste the float in there at all. So now I guess I understand kind of why some people just don't like this drink at all. You know, I was surprised. It was one of those things where, you know, you, you read through all the history of tiki drinks and. And you see all these different recipes out there and, and the fog cutter comes up a lot, um, but you don't hear a lot of people talking about it. And I, I think I now know why that may be. And it probably explains too why some people prefer the more modern variations. I'm, I'm betting, I'm, I almost bet my life that there is less lemon in the newer fog cutters. So, so I'm a little disappointed. I, I guess what I gotta say right now guys is I, I, I cannot imagine drinking this for fun. Like, it, it, this is great doing it for you guys, but this is not the type of drink that you sit back, um, even in summer, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not often at a loss for words, but this thing is just, uh, this has got me puzzled. <laughs> well, this episode did not end like I thought it was going to. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet to Tiki Drinks at Home, please click the subscribe button below, hit the little notification bell, like the video, you know, comment away in the comment section. However you engage with us, it helps get the video out to more and more people. So please take the time to do to do at least one of those. Um, other than that, all I guess I can say is, you know, till next time, keep your spirits high and your, your really bitter lemon cocktail glasses full. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, it got worse. Oh, <coughs> yeah, no. No, I gotta go get a chaser. <laughs>